There's only one person. Oh, go on. And I call him Sean. That's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should be, of family. That should be no outside of my mother. Okay, just that should be calling me. Yeah, that should be calling me Sean. Sean Carter is worse. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. This been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. Y'all, Cat Williams is exposing Jay-Z for being a fake friend. And Cat Williams has been on a roll these past couple of days, spilling tea on Diddy. And it looks like he has more tea to spill, because he just came out to reveal how Jay-Z threw Diddy under the bus once his allegations became known. Let Cat Williams tell it Jay-Z and Diddy were allegedly involved in the same kind of shady stuff. And they even allegedly had freak-offs together and did more nasty things that could get them canceled. But after Diddy got exposed by Cat and the rest of his accusers, Jay-Z suddenly started to distance himself from Diddy and pretend like Diddy didn't exist. Well, Cat is now bringing some hard evidence to show that the reason Jay-Z is no longer friends with Diddy is that he allegedly is paranoid that if he continues to associate with Diddy, his own shady secrets could be blown up and he is desperate to avoid a scandal by all means necessary. But hold on, cause it gets even crazier because Cat also exposed Jay-Z of allegedly trying to take Diddy out to protect his own secrets. But what secrets are we talking about here? And why is Jay-Z suddenly so desperate to protect them? Also, is Diddy really planning to snitch on Jay-Z and get the mob off of his back? What you gonna do? What you gonna do for him, Jay? I wanna take him back a little bit. Damn, I you Put know your this Rockefeller shit, shit out of Okay, so if y'all thought that Cat Williams was going to start losing momentum and finally stop spilling tea on celebs, well, you clearly don't know Cat, cause that man don't slow down for nothing. Y'all saw him running, he fast. But as long as there's still tea to be spilled, y'all better believe you're gonna see Cat out here giving all the messy details. And this time it's nothing different, cause he is keeping his foot firmly on Diddy's neck and spilling some insane tea. A couple of days ago, Cat broke the internet when he revealed that Diddy tried to seduce him and offered him. 50 million dollars for an affair. I've had to turn down 50 million dollars four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so freely. Can, can, can I need no one? Yeah, y'all, this is very wild because $50 million is an insane amount of money. Like, listen, exactly how down bad was Diddy for Cat? Was it love or was it lust or was it something in between? We'll probably never know, but it is kind of interesting though, isn't it? But I'm not gonna lie. I've been wondering why on earth Diddy would even proposition Cat. No one how Cat is when he comes to dealing with these kinds of situations in the industry. I mean, Cat is literally known for being something of a whistleblower in the industry. And he doesn't like Diddy, so how on earth did Diddy think that it was a smart idea for him to go after Cat? I'm not trying to be shady, but Diddy has been doing a pretty bad job of keeping his private shenanigans secret because his business has been in the streets forever. And I'm not even gonna talk about Cassie's lawsuit and how she exposed Diddy in a bad way. Way before that, there have been talks about Diddy being on the down low, swinging with men in the industry and throwing gay parties and all types of stuff. Stuff. We have had so many people talking about Diddy and his activities for the longest time, like his former bodyguard Gene Deal, who spoke about how Diddy and Will Smith both attended gay parties together. You told me before that she was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man, he was 6'9", they called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with big old booty and shit. No, he was gay and I'm like, what the f is going on here? It's just a lot of, a lot of weird dude, you know what I'm saying? Gene also spilled the tea on Diddy's escapades with men. And he said, yo, Gene, watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said, I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. Now rapper Exhibit also revealed that Diddy once took him to a gay bar and he was so shook that he snuck out the bar and ran home. He's doing his business, we go down and get a drink. 
You know, we sitting there bobbing to the music, and then she say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the f is this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then there's girls in the club, too. And then she pointed another direction. It's another dude over there, like, butt-ass naked. Now, actor Orlando Brown also claimed that Diddy gave him some mouth action, some gosh mash gosh if you know what I mean. Yo, Diddy, you gave me the oosh gosh goosh mash You gave me the oosh gosh muaf, the smooth mash Diddy. Yeah, son. I mean... You know what I mean, you gave me the oosh gosh wash. I love it, yo. Y'all, did did he never hear of slapping people with an NDA before? I mean, he was engaging in some very freaky stuff with them. But in the case of Gene Deal, y'all mean to tell me that Diddy didn't make him sign an NDA or anything during or after he worked for him? Y'all, the moment Gene started spilling tea on Diddy, he should have been hit with an NDA ASAP. But Diddy dropped the ball there, and everybody has been spilling tea on him left and right. Now, according to Cat, this was Diddy's biggest mistake, because that's when people started giving him the side eye but according to cat there are so many high profile celebs who are just as bad as diddy or even worse but they're way smarter about staying low key and they make everybody sign an ironclad nda before engaging in anything freaky with them allegedly and jay-z is supposed to be one of those artists now, have you ever wonder why we never see or hear anything about jay-z or beyonce well listen he had a whole affair on her and we still don't know who becky with the good hair is but according to cat just because we we don't hear about Jay-Z doesn't mean that he hasn't been up to some shenanigans because he and Jay-Z have allegedly been involved in some very messy drama together. Now Jaguar Wright has been trying to tell us about this because according to her Jay-Z is way worse than Diddy but he has been getting away with it because he is smarter than Diddy and he has been way more careful. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. It's wild because Kanye West has also accused Jay-Z of the same thing. Last year, Kanye exposed a couple of high-profile celebrities of unaliving people, and he named Jay-Z and Beyonce. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Michael too. Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God love me. I can't send none of y'all meat meals, y'all puppies, y'all little boozies, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. And even if they did figure out a way, Categorize. they can't control me, you get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley, they can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Not, not you, man. But they can't control me. But like I said, Cat is now exposing Jay-Z's secret shenanigans with Diddy. And even worse, he is claiming that Jay-Z has betrayed Diddy and thrown him under the bus after Diddy got exposed. He pointed out that there has been talk for years that Jay-Z is not exactly a great guy that he pretends to be in the media. And no, I'm not talking about him cheating on Beyonce with Becky. I'm talking about the fact that he has been accused over the years of either allegedly grooming young girls or helping other men in the industry to groom young girls. For example, the streets have been saying for the longest time that he allegedly started grooming Foxy Brown when she was only 14 and they eventually hooked up when she was about 15 years old when he was a 24 year old adult man, which is very creepy. But anyways, Jay-Z eventually addressed the rumors in his song Picasso Baby where he said, okay, I never stuck my C in the Fox's box, but dang if I ain't open Pandora's box. They try to slander your man on CNN and Fox. My Mirandas don't stand a chance with cops. Even my old fan 
comments like, oh man, just stop. Well, as it turns out, Foxy was embarrassed that he even said this because she had asked him to ignore the rumors and let it be. In an interview, she said, was I shocked when Jay said the line in, we have a history that supersedes music. We know how this business works. We sit back and we laugh at those rumors. We laugh at that. I think he began to feel the pressure because people began to say my age. The age thing, she was 15, 14. After a while, that gets to a person. The fact that he felt he needed to say that, that means something struck a chord. Well, Cap pointed out how weird it was that Jay-Z felt he had to address these rumors in the first place. He also pointed out how it was such a big red flag that she felt the need to defend him as a grown man, pointing out how it was similar to how groomers and their victims operate. And before y'all come for me and talking about how it was all consensual, let me remind you that she would have been a minor at the time, so there was no way that she could have given consent to be intimate with an older man. It's literally a crime. But that's not all in this shady stuff that Jay-Z has been linked to because he was besties with R. Kelly while R. Kelly had an illegal marriage with Aaliyah when she was a minor and R. Kelly even tricked her into marriage with him when she was just 15. Again, this was illegal as F because Aaliyah was a minor and as such, she couldn't sign legal documents for herself and needed a parent or guardian to do that on her behalf. So R. Kelly really played some Hollywood games and when you've got clout, you can pull off some very shady moves and he managed to score some paperwork that magically said Aaliyah was 18 and therefore legally old enough to consent to marriage. The marriage got annulled when the truth came out and turns out R. Kelly, well into his 20s at the time, had forged documents to marry a child. It's mind-boggling that he dodged these serious consequences. I mean, he had to have broke about a thousand laws or something like that, but that's the power of money and influence. It can get you out of all types of sticky situations. But listen, if this had happened in 2024, R. Kelly would have been canceled in a heartbeat and social media would have erupted. Investigations would have kicked off for forging documents, marrying a child, and he would have been booted out of the industry faster than you can say scandal. But you know, things were different in the 90s. But hey, karma eventually caught up with him and now he's behind bars. But here's the bizarre twist. Jay-Z didn't cancel R. Kelly and distance himself from him? Not at all. Instead, he dropped a joint album and even hit the road together with him for a tour. Jaguar Wright spoke up about it, wondering how Jay-Z thought it was acceptable to roll with R. Kelly. It's a head scratcher for sure. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both f***ed Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. You know? And then, there was a falling out. And that's like it never happened. Whoever talks about best of the both worlds, best of both worlds. Nobody talks about that. Nobody project. talks about this shit. Nobody yeah, they, talks I about that project. Swept, that nigga swept that smooth under the rug. Why? <laughs> Well, Jay-Z seemed totally fine with R. Kelly getting involved with the minor and even marrying her. Makes you question where his moral compass was pointing, right? And when R. Kelly faced those heinous charges, Jay-Z tried to distance himself, claiming that they were never friends. This is interesting, though, because according to Kat, it's the same thing that he's doing to Diddy once Diddy's secret actions got exposed. But considering that he was also accused of allegedly being involved with an underage Foxy Brown, throwing stones from a glass house allegedly didn't seem right for Jay-Z. But here's where gets worse. Whispers in the wind suggest that Jay-Z allegedly had his eyes set on Aaliyah, despite her being married to his friend. So technically, yeah, it wasn't a legal marriage, but you catch my drift. And if you thought that that was messy, Aaliyah was more into Jay-Z's friend named Dash. Now, was Jay-Z orchestrating some sort of rotation with his friends, patiently waiting for his turn? Yeah, it's all giving creepy. Well, Jay-Z's feelings for Aaliyah weren't your typical schoolboy crush. It was like more of a burning disease. Desire. He allegedly wanted her so bad that it ended up destroying his friendship and business partnership with Dame Dash, who happened to be dating Aaliyah at the time. Now, when the fallout between Jay-Z and Dame went down, folks thought it was just egos clashing. But according to Dame, it all boiled down to Jay-Z's infatuation with Aaliyah and his inability to handle the fact that she preferred Dame over him. Talk about a messy love triangle. Well, flashback to the early 2000s, and Aaliyah was the reigning queen of Hollywood. She was the it girl, possibly the biggest female star in the industry, drawing admirers left and right. Among those vying for her attention were none other than Jay-Z and Dame Dash. Now imagine a friendship already on shaky ground and throw in a competition for the same woman, things were bound to get super messy. And both Jay-Z and Dame Dash were actively pursuing Aaliyah, fully aware that they were in the race for her affection. I kind of eased up, but then we ran into each other. 
It's a long story. <laughs> so you and Jay was both getting at Aaliyah. Obviously, everybody was getting out. at everybody was getting at Aaliyah, bro. Right. She was like, she was like, you know, she'll go to dinner with her, but she wasn't going to just be smashing. So two pals going head to head for the same girl is a recipe for disaster. As we've seen countless times, it didn't take long for the green eye monster of jealousy to rear its ugly head, especially when Ali was going on dates with both of them. Two reason <laughs> of Rockefeller's breakup. But that's, everybody knows that. Oh. Like we were both like, we were both. I heard it, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't, but what they be trying to act like, he was like really well, nah, he was sending flowers and doing all this shit that he was courting her. But hold on to your butts because Aaliyah started leaning more towards Dame Dash and Jay-Z was not having any of it. We right. en and we ended up in the same house 4th, 4th of July. So we were, for some reason this, this day... Wait a minute, you, Jay, and Aaliyah ended up in the same house? Yeah. That's funny. We all know that Jay-Z does not lose, but things got even worse when Aaliyah finally decided to do the deed with Dame. Even though Dame didn't exactly tell Jay-Z that he'd been the one to finally sleep with Aaliyah, Jay-Z found out because it happened at the 4th of July party that they all attended. And I remember coming downstairs, like, you know, it happened. He was like, <sighs> <laughs> so, you know this is going to be hard for me because he was like because he was throwing because you know because like you know his friends were laughing at him I might have a f***ed up question since we're talking about Aaliyah <laughs> and, and ignore me up. if it's too much but do you have any opinion on the Art Kelly situation do you think he got railroaded or he he's there he's where he belongs now Jaguar Wright also backed Dame up on this claiming that Jay Z got his revenge by ruining Dame and selling out the business from underneath him just because Dame got the girl I think everybody Everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dane. Like, I don't give a f if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, it's malicious. But maybe that was because he was f***ing the girl that didn't want you. Oh. Well, Jay-Z eventually moved on from Aaliyah to Beyonce, aiming to become one half of Hollywood's ultimate power couple. But here was the hitch. He needed Beyonce to be the undisputed queen of Hollywood. And at that moment, she was still finding her footing post-Destiny's Child. So let's be real, Beyonce's talent is out of this world, and she was destined to rule Hollywood eventually. I mean, have you seen Queen B? But at the time Jay-Z and Beyonce crossed paths, Beyonce was transitioning from Destiny's Child, trying to carve her niche in the industry. On the flip side, Malia was already on the ascent, making her mark and climbing to the top. However, tragedy struck with Aaliyah's untimely passing, leaving a vacant spot at the summit for Beyonce to step into. And according to Jaguar Wright, this was no mere coincidence. By the way, wasn't this all around the time when Aaliyah died? Yeah. And Beyonce's solo career was struggling? Jam on your horn now, that fucking bullshit ass record. Mm. From the Austin Powers shit, it was some of the worst shit ever. They were having a hard time taking her solo. And then Aaliyah died. And then they brought Rich Harrison in. And you know how kind of think it's crazy right now? She liked posing with him in pictures for, for page six. Aaliyah didn't. She fell in love with Dane. But this is where things get very intriguing. There have been rumors and whispers suggesting that Aaliyah's death wasn't an accident, but a planned event. Aaliyah was scheduled to shoot a music video in Florida, but the director, Hype Williams, inexplicably decided to shift the shoot to the Bahamas. The move raised eyebrows since everything had been prepped in Florida and everybody was already geared up for the shoot. But they went to the Bahamas and wrapped up the music video ahead of schedule. But when it was time to head back to the US, there was no return plane in sight. Aaliyah's friend Lenny Kravitz offered his private jet to fetch her. However, Hype Williams refused to let her go, claiming that he had arranged for another plane. When that plane arrived, it turned out to be way too small and unable to accommodate the crew and equipment. Reports also surfaced that Aaliyah, sensing something amiss, refused to board. According to the New York Post, the hip hopper's crew returned to see what was amiss, whereupon Aaliyah reiterated her concerns. At this point, one of her team handed her a sleeping pill causing her to fall into a deep sleep, after which they carried an unconscious Aaliyah onto the plane. They took her out of the van. She didn't even know that she was getting boarded on a plane. The plane wasn't just overloaded. It was a disaster waiting to unfold. According to the chaos, the pilot was reportedly high on cocaine, making the entire situation a tragedy in the making. Predictably, a few minutes after takeoff, the inevitable occurred, and the plane crashed, 
claiming the lives of everyone on board. Many people in the industry have called BS on this series of events, claiming that there was more to Aaliyah's death than met the eye, with even Mary J. Blige expressing her doubts on the matter. I just know that that was a murder. You know what I'm saying? That was a spiritual murder, whether people know it or not, because God don't kill people. You know what I'm saying? Whether people know it or not. And, um, I could go deep, but a lot of people I would have to really bring proof, you know what I'm saying, for what I learned. And she just was cut down in the prime of her life. And it's so unfair. But hold on, because this list of allegations doesn't end here. According to Cat Williams, there is still a laundry list of minors that Jay-Z allegedly groomed, including Tierra Marie. Before Tierra Marie ventured into the love and hip-hop scene, she was signed to Def Jam Records and worked closely with Jay-Z. At first, Jay-Z seemed to have a fondness for her, even referring to her as the princess of the label. Some of the artists, um, Tierra Marie. Yeah. Okay, and she's the first lady of the rock. She's the princess. However, things took an unexpected turn as Jay-Z went from showering her with praises to abruptly dropping her from the label on the night of her prom, leaving her without any explanation. But well, you know, what happened was I got dropped from Rockefeller on okay. my prom day. <laughs> you know, they didn't know. Getting ready for the prom? Yeah, honey, getting ready. I was putting lotion on my legs, got a phone call, ring, ring. Hey, uh, yeah, we're going to be letting you go. I was I like, oh. I didn't even tell anybody that day. Well, to be fair, Jay-Z did offer an explanation claiming that Tierra's debut album had performed poorly and failed to meet the sell expectations, so the label decided to drop her. Dick's explanation, however, raised eyebrows, considering the album sold 69,000 copies, reaching number five on the Billboard 200 and number two on the Billboard Top R&B and Hip Hop Albums chart, which actually is not too shabby for a debut solo album. However, Jay-Z insisted it was a flop, leading to Tierra's dismissal. But curiously, Rihanna's debut album hit the shelves a few weeks after Tierra's, selling the exact same 69,000 copies in the first week. Even more intriguing, Music of the Sun only reached number 10 on the Billboard 200, charting lower than Tierra's album. Going to the logic applied to Tierra, Rihanna should have faced the same fate, right? Well, absolutely not. Rihanna wasn't dropped, so why Tierra? Well, according to Kat, the answer is very straightforward. Jay-Z was allegedly having an affair with Tierra at the time, despite her being a minor and still in high school. But here's where it takes an even darker turn. A blind item suggests that it was L.A. Reid who allegedly initiated a relationship with Tierra before allegedly pimping her out to Ray J, who then, according to the claims, passed her along to Jay-Z. Before Aaliyah was essayed as a minor by several producers and was treated like a piece of meat to be bought and sold by different producers up until the time that she passed away. A couple of years after she passed away, a fairly large record producer started making some calls about a singer he had working out of his studio. She was 15 and eager, and soon, different label heads were scouting her. And this is allegedly Tierra Marie. Soon, she was sold to this pseudo corn star and celebrity sibling. You can also take a guess at that one. He loves controlling vulnerable women. It is his specialty. Anyway, he started controlling the career of this singer. He brought her to the attention of this A-plus list rapper and mogul, allegedly Jay-Z. Y'all, this entire saga is just mind-boggling, especially considering Tierra Marie was a minor when these alleged affairs were said to have taken place. But wait, because the plot thickens. You see, Ray J and Tierra went public with their relationship in 2006, shortly after she got dropped by Jay-Z. At the time, she was 18 and he was 25, but rumors circulated that their involvement might have been well before she reached the legal age. Now, here's where things get even more in interesting. At the time of Tierra's departure from the label, she had been working on her second album, raising questions about Jay-Z's decision making. If her first album was supposedly such a disaster that it warranted her dismissal, why would Jay-Z allow her to continue working on another album? Well, according to this blind item, the real reason behind her departure was Ray J's jealousy. Allegedly, he wanted Tierra all to himself and was not pleased with Jay-Z's alleged involvement with her. But adding another layer to the drama, it's claimed that Beyonce caught wind of the affair and demanded that Jay-Z sever all ties with Tierra. And he signed her to a deal. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal. But that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a list singer who was in his face every day. And this could allegedly be Beyonce. The thing is, though, that 
porn star in charge of her career was feuding with the mogul and told the mogul he would not be allowed to hook up with the singer again. I assume he thought the mogul would think she was something special, apparently not as special as the current A-plus lister because the new signee was dropped and the word was put out on the street. No record deals for her from any label. When someone ignored the edict, they were paid a visit. If the visits were ignored, then other steps were taken. This was a total lockdown of a career that lasted almost a decade. But according to Cat, his solution wasn't just dropping Tierra from the label. He went a step further, blacklisting her from the entire industry. Yeah, y'all, it's utterly wild. There was no need for such extreme measures. But perhaps it explains why Tierra's career took a nosedive after leaving Def Jam. It's been puzzling because she had the talent to swiftly land a deal with another label. After all, her debut album soared to the top five of the Billboard Hot 200, which was impressive. The pieces started falling into place when you consider L.A. Reid's account. According to him, Beyonce played a role in steering the label's attention towards Rihanna and away from Tierra Marie. And this shift ultimately led to Tierra being kicked off by the label. And we had an, a showcase. And at the showcase, there were two artists performing. Her name is Tierra Marie, and she's a really sweet girl. And the truth is I was paying a little more attention to her than I was to Rihanna. After the showcase, you know, Beyonce just gave me one of those looks and he said, that Rihanna girl, she's a beast. And she looked away, right? And I was like, so I did a Rihanna double take. But Kat also talked about the rumors of Jay-Z drugging Beyonce and pointed out how it sounded very similar to the allegations that had been made against Diddy. In her lawsuit, Cassie claimed that Diddy kept her drugged up throughout their relationship because it was easier for him to control her that way. The three other women who filed lawsuits against him also claimed that Diddy allegedly drugged them before essaying them. Well, Kat pointed out how similar this was to the rumors of Jay-Z allegedly keeping Beyonce drugged up to control her. Fans have been saying for a while that Beyonce sometimes looks spaced out whenever she's out about with Jay-Z. Like this person who said, I'm still having conflicted feelings about Beyonce's look. She looks like if Tim Burton was to direct Peter Pan, like a drugged up Tinkerbell. Well, Jaguar Wright was one of the first people to claim that Jay-Z had allegedly been keeping Beyonce drugged up. He's a monster. And I've known he's a monster for years. Mm -hmm. Since I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, 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 No, girl. She then compared Beyonce's situation to that of Britney Spears asking for fans to start a free Beyonce campaign because she was a prisoner in her marriage and she was trapped. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is she is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Oh, God, no. Oh, and don't even get me started on the rumors of Jay-Z being an active and willing participant in Diddy's freak offs. So, as it turns out, Jay-Z is definitely not innocent. Like Jaguar said, he is allegedly just as bad as Diddy. Which is why Cat is now calling Jay-Z out for being a hypocrite, who is distancing himself from Diddy now that Diddy is on his way down. Even though he and Diddy were very tight before all this, they were so tight that Diddy revealed that only his mom and Jay-Z had VIP passes to call him his real name, Sean. There's only one person. Oh, go on. And I call him Sean, that's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should be, of family. That should be, no, outside of my mother. Okay, just that should be calling me. Yeah, that should be calling me Sean. Jay Z and Beyonce also attended Diddy's 50th birthday party, which is saying a lot because y'all know that Jay Z and Beyonce don't be stepping out to just anybody's event. According to Cat, not only has Jay Z distanced himself from Diddy, but he also threw Diddy under the bus. And this is allegedly because Jay Z is paranoid about his secrets being exposed because Diddy is under a lot of scrutiny right now, and Cat claims that Jay Z can't afford to have the same spotlight on him because he knows that things are about to get messy. Well, Cat also slammed Jay-Z for letting Diddy be canceled without trying to do anything behind the scenes. In case y'all missed it, last month, we found out that the Grammys were considering not inviting Diddy. According to the Daily Mirror, several Academy officials are pushing to remove the billionaire superstar from the Grammy guest list. There is conflict at the Academy, as several voting members do not think it would be appropriate to invite Diddy. Several publicists have asked that their artists aren't seated by him.
him. It's a logistical nightmare. Well, the Recording Academy also released a statement saying, we are taking this matter very seriously and we are in the process of evaluating it with the time and care that it deserves. Kat then claimed that Jay-Z has been secretly working in the background to discredit Diddy and get him kicked out of the industry because he is scared that people are going to start linking him to Diddy and his shady secrets will get exposed. And y'all know the streets been talking and they've been saying stuff like, I believe Jay-Z smarter than the rest as well as Jay-Z has a close relationship with the high power companies and people. The reason Jay-Z's deeds have been kept out of the public. Yes, I believe that the boy who Jay-Z refuses to take DNA is his son and they say his mom was underage when Jay-Z got her pregnant. I don't know, I feel like Jay-Z gonna be around wherever the money and opportunity is. He has no morals. Birds of a feather gonna flock together 2024, the year of truth and exposure. Always knew I was right about Jay-Z. We always knew about Diddy, but I always felt like Jay-Z had a lot of secrecy with him. And I'm not talking about what drug dealing either. I'm talking about exactly what is being shown. Y'all, there is so much going on here, but let me know how y'all feel about Kat's revelations and then check out this next video.